What's up contractors? So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a YouTube channel as well as this list of things right here. Time codes are down below. Feel free to jump around and get what you need. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so we pull up the homepage here and the first thing to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're signed into the email that you want connected with your YouTube channel. I would recommend your primary email um, that has like at hopefully your contractor business name. The one that I have made for the sake of this tutorial is joecontractorcgn at gmail.com. So the first thing you're gonna do, very simple, is just hit create a channel. Right here, it's gonna prompt you to upload a picture. If you already have a photo in your Google profile, it will already use that one. And I would use your logo if possible. But for this video, I looked up a photo of what a real contractor looks like. Because if I know anything about contractors, it's that they're always wearing a tie, always wearing a safety vest, and they're always wearing a hard hat. And they always have a beard as well. Okay, it's picture upload, and then we're gonna click create a channel. And we're done. I'm just kidding. So now we have our channel. I'm gonna walk you through first how to customize your channel, make a banner, make it look professional, and then how to upload your first video. So let's go to customize channel here. It's gonna give you all this stuff. You can feel free to go through all that. We're gonna go to branding. So a couple of things you'll want is a banner image. That's the image that appears at the top of the screen and a video watermark. So I have already created a banner image through Canva and it was actually extremely easy. So the way that I did it was you can actually just go into Canva, sign in, it's free. Just sign in with the same email and then look up YouTube banner template. You're gonna look that up. You can find templates that you like or you can do your own. I found one I liked. Then I went over, uploaded my own image. I took a photo. Um, this is actually a photo of a project I was working on this weekend. But what I'd recommend is you take one of your recent project photos, something that looks nice, a good representation of your work, brought it in. Text was a little bit hard to see, which you might run into on some of your images. So what I did was I lowered the brightness of the photo just a touch and then I lowered the contrast of the photo a good amount and that seemed to make it look better. Changed the name to the text I wanted. So then I took that guy and I went up to the top right, click download and boom, I was done. Now the nice thing about that is it gets everything to the right dimensions for you. You don't have to worry about anything. Now we can go back and I named it Joe Contractor and made the right image size for us and it already went ahead and put everything just like I want it. I'm gonna click done there. Beautiful. And then video watermark. I would just recommend taking your logo and uploading it here. PNG web, white, open, done. Now in our videos, you'll see this little icon down there, which is kind of a cool touch. So now we can go in, publish, and view channel, let's see what we're looking like so far. So now we see our design that we made here in Canva. We have a profile picture. Again, I would use your logo if possible. Now let's upload our first video. I like to do drag and drop. So I'll pull up my video here. Perfect, here's a video that I just created for Charlotte Backyard Ponds. I actually did a tutorial on how to make this. And we'll take this guy, slide it over here. And First thing you want to do is give your video a title. My personal recommendation for this stuff is, thinking about the utility of it, generally what we recommend to contractors is your YouTube channel at, at the beginning is going to be for holding videos to put onto your website and for sending out videos to prospects. So kind of a sales conversion tool. So saying, hey, that project is a lot like a project we worked on before. Um, let me go ahead and send you the link. So when you're writing stuff like titles and description, I personally wouldn't worry about like people try to play YouTube algorithm and all the things you can do for stats. I would just write it for yourself and for your clients. So let's say this is his Cedarwood stream update and description today, the Cedarwood finished up installation, uh, enjoy. Just something super simple like that. And then we can go down to thumbnail. So YouTube will generate three of these automatically for you. At first, these are going to be black. And the reason they are is because if you look down here, it's still processing the HD version of my video. It's normal for this to take a few minutes. 
So once it's done with that, it will automatically generate three different screenshots of the video, basically. And you can choose one of those. Or if you want to do a custom one, you can click Upload Thumbnail. And to do this, the very first time, you need to verify your phone number. They basically just want to make sure that you're a real person. I No, that was the right code. Phone number is now verified. OK, so once you've done that, close out this window. Go back to Upload Thumbnail. And once again, I created this in Canva. And very similar process. Took a screenshot of the image, uh, one of the images that I thought conveyed. It both had TJ in it and it had part of the project in it. Um, looked up YouTube thumbnail templates. Found one I liked. Moved my image on over on top of it. Typed in stream update. Added a logo there. You would add in your own logo. And boom, now we have a nice little thumbnail for it. You can also make a playlist for it as well. In this video, TJ is primarily talking about um, planting. So I'm going to put this in the plants folder. And then if I'm talking to a client and they're talking about signing up for our, our landscaping, if they wanted to sign up for that, then you could put, then you could send them over a link to all of your landscaping projects. A bunch of other stuff here that I don't ever really worry about. One thing you do need to do, though, is answer, is this video made for kids? Is it kids' content or no? You can read about it, but basically, if, you, if it is for kids, there's a lot of extra rules that you have to follow and a lot of ad restrictions on it. So luckily, we are not making content for kids. From there, you could do an end screen for another video, add cards. We don't really need that for this. They're going to check for copyright issues. A lot of times, you'll run into this if you use copyrighted music. I always use stock music and that kind of thing to make sure that I don't run into this problem. Um, but if you do use copyrighted music, here's where you'll see a problem for it. Now we get the option to choose, do we want to make our video private, unlisted, public, or schedule it? So the first option here is a private video. The only time I really do private videos is if it's a video that I'm going to post at some point and I'm ready to have it posted public, but I don't know when it's going to go out and I just want it private so it's ready to go whenever. Unlisted, this is a video you don't want listed on your main channel, but you do want it to be up there and send the link to somebody. So then anybody you send the link to, they'll be able to find it, but you can't search it. There's no other way to get to it. Public, anybody can see it. And then schedule, this is what I generally do. For a video like this though, I think you can honestly just go ahead and make it public. And publish. Nice thing here is you can go ahead and copy the video link, send it out to whoever you want to send it to. So now we have a YouTube channel uh, with a thumbnail, first video, profile picture, and banner design. Uh, this video right here that I'm uploading, I actually did a tutorial on how I made it, both for iMovie and one for Adobe Rush. Both of those thumbnails will be here. Click on those and you can watch them. Otherwise, have a great day and I will talk to you later, hopefully, maybe. Now all we got to do is break in the views, baby. Boink.